Welcome back, everybody. I, uh, really was encouraged by the positive response on the last video, or the first video, I suppose, rather, um, of this little game. And so I thought, hey, what should we do? We could just not play any more. It's kind of a small game. It probably, you know, isn't the largest of games to play. There's probably bigger stuff I could be playing right now, or I could go back to an old game that's more sizable. But I figured I'm enjoying this game, and so I figured I, I, would, I would much rather play something that I'm enjoying um, even if it's a smaller title, and, and it did seem like you guys were really liking it, so I, I figured we could just we could just continue, and we could make this a, a walkthrough, a real cool um, game, and and I was lucky enough to have the developers Trapdoor shout me out um, on their Twitter, which was really really cool, I thought, and uh, so I said, hey, I'm really enjoying this game, and instead of just trying to play the absolute thing that's making you know you know that's the biggest game right now, or you know just do a twisted metal walk or something that you know I'm not a thousand percent into, I would try playing something that I can really get behind um, and, and see how, how that works. I figured my commentary will be far better um, when I can I can bring the game and I'm getting shot. Okay, we're at these challenges you can access from the main menu, so I'm just leaving. Um, but I, I enjoyed this and I figured that's something that's been missing um, from a lot of my walkthroughs lately was a game that I really could get behind. Um, whoa. And... Be careful, they're up to something. Um, you know, there's some new games coming out next week, Syndicate and uh, Mass Effect 3 soon that I really am interested in do want to play. And so I figured it would be a, a very good way to set, sort of get ready for those um, by playing something that I enjoy. And, and by showing you that, hey, when I enjoy it, my commentary is the best on YouTube and is very top tier. And uh, we can have a lot of fun. That's what happened with Captain, that's what happened with L.A. Noir, that's what happened with, oh, munchies. Oh, that guy's nasty. That's right. Run. Oh jeez. Okay. Oh god. Wow, he just roll. killed me. Um, that's what happened with, with a lot of games that, that were, are some of your favorites. When I talk to people about, whoa, what's your favorite series? I did. It's L.A. Noir, it's Catherine, it's Portal 2, it's, you know, Batman. Games I loved. Um, games I really enjoyed a lot. And that's that's kind of what I'm, I'm excited to do here. We're gonna skip this cutscene. And run! I can't okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. No! God, wow, you have to be really fast. Okay. My, my recording, like, I use an HD PVR, and first of all, this morning it wasn't working at all. That's why this video is later in the day than I wanted it to be. Um, but second, and there will be a lot of parts of this this weekend um, to get through it. Uh, but I don't know if I need a new one or what, but it's just like it's been goofing up. It, and it detaches the audio from the, uh, from the video as, not at the beginning, not, but as it, like, goes on, which I, is a very strange. That's something that has never really happened to me. Um, uh, where, like, midway through the video, it desyncs itself. It's very difficult to correct, so you have to find the exact point of where where things went wrong. But, um, anyway. We're entering the laboratory, so it's a, it's a good day. It's a new environment here. Our little glowy light ball of an alien. No trash compactor, I ain't no Wookiee. Come on, help me out here. Let's go. Wow! Check the monitors. We need to know if it survived. Oh, God. That one Oh! That's not good. Your tiny legs can't handle long falls. <laughs> what if you landed on your arms? All right, let's try this again. Can I blow this up? That's not good. I can't. Ah! Okay, I can go all the way through. I can't. They want me. They're just. They're encouraging me to practice the silly little warping between objectos. Okay, so we go here. Hey, 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 hey! Yeah, buddy. Wow. If we're lucky. I no, think you have been killed. I bet. What is this? Ooh, I'm now uh, a doughboy. Pillsbury. What's the camera? Right, row. Huh? The the puddle. The salinity of this water doesn't seem to agree with you. Okay, I can't warp in this. Basically, what's going on? Good thing the effects are only temporary. Good. <laughs> Find and free your mysterious guide. Okay. Thank you for bringing this to me. Okay, so look. Oh, that's clever. Okay, so hey, Crane, pick me up and take me for a ride, please. I appreciate it, mucho gracias. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, now. Little bam. Is that helpful? At all? No. 
Oh, maybe it was. Okay. Neat. Oh. What do you think of these challenge rooms? Should we keep going for them or what? What do you think? Do you do you do you do you do you? Warp your way. Let's let's go for it. I like these. Kind of reminds me of some of the Mario Galaxy challenges. Oh jeez. Uh. Oh man. Okay. I'm gonna retry this one one time. Can I have one small retry? Sometimes it's easier to leave people alive. I learned that already. In fact, I wonder if there's like an achievement. Like, go look. I bet there's some achievement for um leaving everyone alive. I, I think this one becomes easier. Oh jeez, no, that was bad. Okay, I don't. I, I really want to focus on the main story. I, you know, the just to show you that these challenge rooms exist is kind of what I my my main goal. Is. There's puddles and poodles and oodles and muddles. Hey, get out! Get out! Get out of that water, man! There are no humans around here. It must be extremely dangerous. Okay. Connect that thing. What about this? Wow. Can I get inside that? No, but I can just glitch through it. That's nifty. Huh. We are the laboratory. Incoming. I will ride this. Take me away. Take me away. Okay. I like how it's a little bit puzzle, a little bit action, like a very like healthy mix. You know what I mean? Like they didn't, they didn't say, "Hey, we're just gonna make the craziest puzzle game ever." You're gonna sit in these rooms and think, but they didn't just say, "Hey, we want you to warp around, and blow guys up." They said, "We want to give you a mixture," which is pretty darn cool. Checkpoint. That looks like I'm about to die. But let's see, can you warp in there? Yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. <laughs> ah! Okay. It's relaxing to play a game I enjoy and not feel like, oh my god, I have to complete this because. I don't know if you have any idea what I'm talking about, but I'm sure if you're playing a game like you feel like you have to finish, you feel obligated to finish, it's kind of not a good feeling. Contraption town. Good. Perfect. Um, but that's kind of how I was feeling with some games. And then when I play something like this, I'm like, dang, I really, really enjoy. That's, is this going to blow up? Ah, uh, yeah. I... <laughs> Trust myself. Here we go. Good thing it has a decently quick load because it is a game that seems like you're going to die quite a bit. Okay, these ones don't blow up, right? No, they don't. No, they don't. So my goal here is to finish this game um, by Monday night. Um, because that's when Syndicate comes out, and oh, <laughs> um, so you can expect quite a bit of this game uh, this weekend. Um, I think it's I don't know five to six hours, so some some a healthy amount of episodes, a healthy healthy little game here for for ten dollars. Um, and uh, I am I'm just super excited. I, I love these house parties, the the summer work. Yeah, I like what they do. I mean, there's some that aren't you know the fantasticest, but this one is pretty good. You know, with Alan Wake with Warp. With I'm Alive with Nexus, it seems like it's going to be a pretty sweet one. Um, so you definitely have you definitely have my my eyes and mind intrigued. Um, we had, oh jeez, you know last time in the summer of arcade we had, oh jeez, oh god, we had a, <laughs> so, ah, just a poor little guy. We had um, From Dust and, and Bastion, some good stuff. But what I was going to say also is this game, um, I have my Vita now that for a while, but I now have English games to play, um, and one of the games is called Escape Plan, and it's a, it's a PSN game, um, and what's really cool about Escape Plan, Okay, so I, I just, that was really tough. I need to focus. But what I was trying to say um, was that I have a PlayStation Vita, and, and the U.S. store just went up um, with all the stuff. So um, what I've been trying to do is just try out a bunch of games. And uh, one of them that I've been really enjoying is a downloadable game called Escape Plan. And I could probably show it in a video. It's 15 bucks, um, And you're these two little guys, a, a tiny guy and a fat guy. And they're like black blobs, basically. What? It's here. Oh. I need backup. Sound the alarm. No, don't do that. God, I'm blow that alarm up. Anyway, so you're these two little guys, a large guy and a 
a huge guy, and you're trying to get them out of this like evil factory, right? And so you're using the touchscreen to to maneuver them around and keep them basically escape escape. That right? It's called escape plan for a reason. And uh, so what what you're doing is using the touchscreen to like move them. You swipe on them to slide them around. You can use the um, back touchscreen to like push objects out of the way. The front touchscreen to slide objects out of the way. Stuff like that. And you're 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 doing your your very most bestest. Oh God. You're doing your very most best is to, uh, to keep them alive. But what's cool is on their chest, it shows like how many times they've died. So there's a big guy and a little guy. And um, you control them independently. So it'll be like eight deaths for the big guy and, and three deaths for the little guy, which I think is just kind of a really clever way of, uh, I don't know, just showing you like, hey, you're doing a good job or hey, you're doing a terrible job. But it, it lets you know. Um, we'll skip this scene here. I like that you can quick skip. It's pretty cool. Ow! That guy. Rude. Okay, 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 mocha, 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 chocolate fudge. We're gonna get this scene here. And then I'm gonna get inside this barrel, and that one, and that one. And here comes Dirty Dan. I won't hurt you. Well, go away from me. Why is this happening? Whoa! Please don't, I don't see know what me. that was about. <laughs> he knocked me crazy. Uh, I'll we'll blow up the turret. And then get out of here. Scientists, I'll leave you alone. And with that, we're gonna wrap this episode up. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying. Again, please leave a like if you if you like this game, if you think it looks fun, if you're happy that I'm having fun, whatever it is. It's unfortunate to be seen like this, but I really need your help. So we're gonna free this guy next episode, which should be pretty cool. I like this game. We're all trying to find a way to disable the containment field. Science, math, hot cocoa, you and me next episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Until next time, we'll see you all later.